everybody and welcome back to your day two of your first week of yin yoga so we are going to repeat the same flow we did in our first video just to get you guys comfortable again with holding in a position your uh, asana for a length of time so again we're going to be here for about two to five minutes for all these poses um, and remember you'll need blocks or having towels or uh, blankets that you can roll up. There's a few of these poses that we are required to use some equipment and then the other ones um, are optional. All right, we're gonna start by seated meditation first. So either placing that block right underneath your glutes if you'd like to sit on it like myself. It just adds a little bit of variety into your seated position. And then you can stack, you know, one foot on top of the other as we settle in here. This allows a little lengthening of the thighs and opening up through the hips. So finding that place in that seated position that you would want to start with. Arms are just by the side and we're thinking about that string on the crown of the head, slight pull to lengthen the spine. Go ahead and you can start um, with your eyes closed. As we're settling here, I want you to focus on your breath. So it's nice and deep. Inhale, filling those lungs with oxygen as much as you can until you can no longer breathe in. And as you exhale, letting it all go, emptying those lungs all the way out. Again, deep breath in. Really expand that chest, really lift up and breathe through the belly and rib cage. And then exhale, condense and squeeze everything all out. Continue that pattern as you inhale and exhale out. We wanna match the length it takes for us to breathe in as it is for us to breathe out. And as you continue to focus on each breath, entering and leaving your body, I want you to take a moment to check in. See how the body's feeling today. Let things show up for your body today through your practice and honor those. And then also setting the intention for your class. are closed go ahead and open them we're going to go ahead and release the feet slightly and get rid of the block our next one is our supported bridge also um, a variation of pontoon because as we extend the leg out and the arms overhead we create this arch on our back so it's a pontoon pose so for this one we're going to be using a block you're going to come down onto 
your back, knees are bent. And we're placing that black block right in where that tailbone, low back meets. And we're here, right here to begin. So as we're in this supported bridge, knees are bent, arms by the sides to start. You can hang out here. But as we stay in this pose for a few minutes, you can slowly start to extend the leg out. And then if you want, bring the arms overhead, reaching for your opposite elbows. Leaving the pace up to you is how you want to go about with your pose. I'm gonna slowly begin extending up the legs. to continue extending the body, you can meet me here. If you like that supported bridge, you can stay there as well. for our butterfly, so recline butterfly. This is where we'll start by placing bow blocks on the sides underneath the knees. And you can use pill, um, towels or blankets for this. As I am here, I'm gonna slowly extend the blocks out, letting the knees fall down further to a point to where they're free hangings, but we're gonna start with them, the blocks underneath for support. Placing one hand on my belly while the other hand's on my chest, reinforcing that big breath in through the nose, filling the belly and chest. And as we exhale,
focusing on that breath, bringing the mind back to the present and focusing on you and being here. your hands to help bring the knees inward all the way and we're gonna go ahead and bring them in and give yourself a little bit of a hug here is our supported fish. So for supported fish, remember guys that it's, we need a block for our spine a long ways and then a block that's the other, um, creating like a T. Um, and you can bring it up higher, you can adjust the height if you'd like. down the spine once for the spine you can test it out first and see what distance feels good for you okay so I figured out my position so I'm gonna go ahead and begin so I'm gonna start by rolling back Bent, making sure my head's placed on there. I'm to by the side to begin. And let my knees kind of curl in as the feet are out to the side. And again, I'm going to slowly start to extend those legs out to the point where they're fully extended. And then I'll have my arms out into an L for cactus for an additional shoulder stretch.
give me your chest or legs a hug. All right, we're gonna get rid of the blocks, move them to the side. Next up is our seated forward fold. This is where we'll extend out the legs in front of us, place that block towel or blanket on top of the knees because the goal is to rest that forehead onto the knee. Inhale, bring the arms up, and as we exhale, we're slowly rounding the spine, letting the head and neck hang heavy, drawing the chin into the chest. Remember, there's other heights of the block too by flipping it around. So finding what works for you. And then you can start up here. And slowly start making your way down. Relaxing the arms by the side if you like. If you're at a lower point where you want to grab opposite elbows, you can do so as well. Keep focusing on that breathing, keeping the mind present. Checking back in with the body, seeing what's showing up for you. If your arms are grabbing hands or rubbing opposite elbows, go ahead and place your hands by your side, nice and gently, one vertebrae at a time. Bring yourself up. All right, moving on to Sphinx pose. So this is where we flip it onto our bellies. For this one, we're on our forearms, legs are out, extended out, relaxed on the mats, fingertips facing forward, palms are down, elbows are tucked in, and just pressing down with the hips as you keep the upper body up. Tip here, as you extend out the arms and elbows out in front of you, it makes it easier bringing them back, makes them harder, and a more intense of a deep stretch. And then chest up. And as we hold here, 
using a forward to start. Pulling those shoulder blades down and back. And if you want to, you can close those eyes now and focus on that breath. position. Bring the knees in. We're coming into child's pose next. So we're toes, heels together in a very narrow stance, sitting back on the heels and dropping that forehead down, placing the arms behind you and then resting towards your feet, letting the shoulders kind of just relax, letting the forehead and nose rest onto the mat, letting the face relax, and just letting everything all go here.
Keep that focus on that breath. Letting the body melt onto the mat. We have one more minute here. slowly bring your hands down so you can help your body up. We're going to come into pigeon next. So in that tabletop position, we're going to start with that right leg forward. So extend the left leg, bend that right knee forward, sending the back leg back, having yourself in that top position to start upper body nice and tall, gazing forward. Placing that block towel or blanket in front if you'd like. You can also place something underneath here if you'd like um, as a way of support as well. Gazing forward, nice deep breathing. Allowing gravity to take over here and work for you. breaths allows the body to lengthen and elongate, allows the mind to stay focused as we continue to breathe in and out. You can hang out here, but if you're ready, go ahead and start coming down onto the forearms. If you have that block in front of you, you can rest that head on the block. Can hang. You can stay here. If you're ready to get even deeper, start to slowly extend the arms out in front of you, moving that block. That way, you can get your forehead all the way down to the mat. Couple more minutes here.
and you extended your arms out and your forehead is resting down onto the mat slowly start to bring the arms in and we can help lift your upper body nice and gently and slowly ourselves to the right side that way we can bring that foot out more into a 90 placing that left leg 90 degrees as well coming into our deer pose and then we're just leaning back thinking about dropping that left hip pushing back down towards the mat feel that through the hip we're here and breathing. Focusing on those breaths, nice deep inhales. Same length as you exhale out. Breathing through that belly and chest. Nice deep breathing. Pushing down on that left hip, allowing for a deeper sensation. here into tabletop hips and knees are stacked shoulders and wrists are stacked dropping that head and neck let it hang heavy just take a few breaths here switch sides so let's extend that right leg bringing that left knee up starting with our tall pigeon so upper body nice and tall back leg is extended from the it's bent again you can place that towel blanket underneath the hip if you'd like for support gazing forward to start Placing that block in front of you, like you if you'd like to use it or another towel or blanket.
stay over here if you'd like, but if you're ready, we're gonna come down onto those forearms, letting that head rest onto the block, towel or blanket, whatever you have to help for support. You can stay here if you'd like, but if you're ready to take it even further, go ahead and start reaching forward with the arms, allowing that forehead to come down onto the mat. If you have extended your arms, go ahead and start bringing them back and close to you, allowing the head to slightly lift from the mat and slowly roll the body towards that left side, allowing that left leg to extend into a 90 degree, bringing that right knee in into a 90 degree bend, coming into our deer pose. Back, we're thinking about pressing that right hip towards the mat, feeling that stretch through the hip as you're here and you're breathing.
deep breathing. We have one more minute here. Crossing the legs so we can bring the arms forward. So we come back, coming back into that tabletop. Have a seat, and then we're gonna come into the windshield wiper. So where we're arms by the behind us, knees are bent. I'm just gonna gently roll, allow the knees to fall to one side. Which for this one, I'll let you determine the speed. It should be very, very slow. As far as like pausing, however long you want to pause at each side. Take a few seconds to get to one side or the other. Taking those deep breaths. out to the side for hero pose um, to also reclined hero so starting with the knees together sitting onto the heels or placing that block to help support you and just here you're gonna start in that seated position first and then you're going to slowly bring your body back. So this is where it's up to you on how deep of a stretch you want to go. Making sure I'm seated onto a block, placing the one behind me if you'd like, or back support. Knees are close together. Um, this is a very deep stretch, so even just sitting here, I feel a lot of stretching. So finding what works for you. Nice deep breaths. And if you're ready 
to take it further, you're going to start by slowly leaning back, coming down to the forearms. Let's see if you can rest on your head onto the mat. If you're wanting to add that deeper stretch, you can place your arms overhead, reaching for opposite elbows. Vasana. So we extend those legs out. You can always place a block underneath the knees if you'd like. As we roll onto our backs, coming into our final stillness, arms by your side. So as we lay here, Focusing on that breath, allowing the arms to relax beside you, the fingertips curl in, and letting that forehead release any tension. Focusing on your breathing, nice deep breaths. As you lay here in stillness until I wake you.
As we slowly start to awaken, start by wiggling your fingers and your toes. Wiggle to one side, breathing up to the wall. Stacking your knees together, taking a breath here. And then help yourself up into a seated position. Namaste. Good job, everybody. Good work this week. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.